Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Achilles campaign for Total War Troy. This is episode 11. We pick things back up from turn 66. So, we are back after 66 turns to where we started. Uh, we started out right here, uh, sieging down this town in the beginning. And our goal moving forward is that I'm going to send Achilles on his journey to Skyros, which is part of our epic mission chain. This is only the second one, the Fall of Skyros, which sounds pretty bad for Skyros. And uh, we'll be able to get a giant vanguard available as a special recruitment pool, even though we already have a couple giant vanguards in our army. And we get some extra experience, even though we're already super high level. We definitely side quest a bit uh, before doing this one. Uh, we now own a large portion of uh, the Greece territories here. And those are not ours, they just share the similar color to ours, but these are ours as well. Uh, we did confederate a faction, which was nice, and so now our confederate's actually on cooldown, so we can't confederate anyone anytime soon. And Nestor, yeah, we really want that land, but we can't have it. This is probably a better view. Uh, very friendly forces uh, with us in terms of other Greek factions, and we can now turn our focus to Troy. Uh, so let's get back into it. We just finished taking the settlement here, so there's still tons of administrative things to do. Let's just say that. And there's definitely a lot of management aspect in this game, in my opinion. I feel like you do have to, uh, you know, do a lot of micromanaging to do well in this game. Increase speed, increase vanguard deployment. I think I wanted this, but then I got sidetracked with some other skills that I didn't pick it up. And so both of these requires dismounting, but this gives stock and snipe eventually once we're dismounted. So potentially we can chariot around for a while, then land ourselves after our chariot die, and then go hiding and snipe off an enemy general. Or we can have ability that just rains fire down onto an area. Both sounds really cool to be honest. Uh, but maybe this is already got that. So our troops are already getting 300 experience every turn. Awesome. Extra range, extra ammo. I like that. Extra speed for the chariot. Minus armor. That could work. That combo is not bad. But getting a ton of ar um, ton of ammo and range. That's like 30% ammo plus 8% range. Sounds very strong actually. Yeah, the chariot's ready enough speed boost. I think I'm just going to take that one. And oh, hold on. Fire while moving. Must have. Right, we got the chariot. We need centaur drill. Or else it's really not worth it. Alright, good thing we caught that. This is one of our priestesses. She is praying to the gods for us. Um, mainly Hera, because that's who we're trying to maintain right now. We already have it maxed out. Let's just increase happiness since she's standing here most of the time waiting for cooldowns. Speaking of cooldowns, three turns. And quick peek at the god situation. We have it at 26, so we basically just need two priestess to maintain this one. This one we'll try to pray to and build buildings. Apollo is also interesting. We did build his altar, which gives us 200 points. Uh, right now all temples are cheap, all priestesses get extra rank, so maybe this is our chance to pump out another priestess. And Lord of the Silver Bows, Increase Archer, that's not really relevant for us. The minus action cost for all agent seer. Oh, administrative efficiency. Well the seer is useful because the seer can be used to max out one of the gods. So we can go from 0 to 650 which is very powerful. So if we bump him up to three, we can all of a sudden get Ares, and then we can get Sparwatis to join our army. That's definitely a possible approach here. And then we can always pray to him before we have big battles so that we get a 10% chance for all agent action at this respected tier. Yeah, we haven't really explored prayer at all. Uh, we technically could do this, four turn effect for growth and happiness in our land. This is more sieging and attrition. Uh, I think hers is probably least useful for us, but some of these could be quite powerful. All right, so she's fine. She's going to stand around our assassin, our, our stupid assassin. You cannot get rid of this trait. We're failing an agent action. His first ever action he failed, and then we're forever stupid. Uh, five damage to... Oh, we want that. 
it's a pretty straightforward build uh, for him because we are focused entirely on killing people with him. Achilles, the champion. And I feel like Achilles is going to max out in level very soon. He's getting there. Melee damage to hero sounds pretty good, actually. Then more damage in siege and chokeholds. More damage to land and ambush. More damage against sword and spear. Hmm. I don't know. That one, I'm not sure. I think I should raid more. Someone commented on this. I'm not raiding enough for this game. Uh, because replenishment, you can do it on march on your friendly territory. And then when you're in enemy territory, you can raid to heal. So essentially, you can heal in almost all stances. So I think I'm going to grab that one. Garrison hero has not moved. Well, he's garrisoned for a reason because they would rebel next turn. So I'll do it right. Potentially, I give him a few more troops. Our food is doing very well after all these new land uh, acquisitions. What do we want here? We are we are one sixty nine, which is not bad. Uh, we've been building a few buildings to speed this up. Um, we've been going down the religious route, which I think will continue. I do want these. I feel like these are very useful. This will help us stabilize the divine favor situation where we can keep a bunch of gods and goddesses happy. And this will make Hedecombs cheaper and also we gain more from them. So both of these are nice. We just need stone, which we actually have now. You know, it's nice to have a lot of land. What a concept. Uh, we have a commandment here. Organized game is our default option. We got to burn down all these buildings. Uh, they do have a garrison, but I don't think we need it. I feel like it's a waste of land. We have a tier 4 Poseidon Temple, which gives us plus 20 campaign movement for armies starting their turn here. That's not bad. It's going to be very expensive to rededicate a tier 4. Yeah, tons of gold. And we're probably going to keep it. We can recruit a priestess. We have the bonus from Apollo right now. We maxed out already. Ah, we already maxed out for three of these. Right now, Envoy is what we only have one of, so potentially we can just grab another Envoy. These guys are very useful as well. Another 5% upkeep cost. Plus three to influence. I like this guy. I think that's what we need for a lot of our territory. I'm gonna recruit one. He's going to be just hanging out on the map most of the time. That's our focus when we get our skills. We want... Okay, action at own settlement gives more influence. I feel like that's what we want. We're using him to pump up our influence. Upkeep. We're not embedding him into an army. We're not embedding him into an army, so we're going to skip those. Plus resources while standing idle. I think that's what we want. Construction cost to all buildings. Yeah, let's do that. Insider. That's foreign settlement. Also foreign army, foreign settlement. Okay, we're going to skip that for now. Also more resources compared to upkeep cost. Denounce treachery. Uh, one of them is locked. Uh, so this is another way to remove enemy agents. I think we'll take this. Arresting foreign priestesses. We'll take that. Elusive keeps us safe. That's fine. Precise is embedding. Let's get both. Double agent campaign movement. Success against settlements. Yep. And then influence. All right, so he should be very useful now for influence purposes. But we'll have him run around and boost all the influences that we need uh, for better resource production. Get rid of this. Level three. It's a royal palace at level three. So Megar so Chieftain Hall, Megaron, Royal Palace. Wine Merchant from Vineyard to Winemaker. Messenger Square, very nice. So we get some more administrative efficiency. Uh, quite a nice settlement we picked up. Remember how we raised it to the ground? The AI has built it right back up for us beautifully. And now we have taken it. Uh, we do have other settlements to look at. 
Um, Aphrodite's. I don't know if I want this right now. We would boost ourselves over 650, but that's a lot of gold. Okay, let's just go through this in order. We have a settlement upgrade, so population's up. We are already building lumber warehouses because we're running out of things to build. Happiness is solid. Influence is solid. This is probably the only building we really need here. This is killing influence for wood. Killing growth. Okay, I think we get this done. We do get another slot. And with that slot, we can potentially build... What? Right? The question is, what can we build with that slot? Nothing. Honestly, nothing. There's nothing I want here. I feel like we can just ignore that. Alright, if we have extra resource, we come back and build this. Just for the extra administrative efficiency. 7% more. It's fixing itself. We're cheap. I know. Uh, I would like to upgrade this because we can build... Oh, we already built the food warehouse. Hmm. Let's throw the population here, I feel like. And get some more food production. That never hurt anyone. Influence is okay, but I would say barely okay. This is definitely a build. And so it's this. There goes all our wood. Rebellion Imminent, we're on top of that. Uh, it's not going to go away. I think we're out of wood, so these are just all the empty slot. We can kill a little growth for a little bit of extra wood, I think. Thebes. Thebes need help. We need to run him over. So basically all these provinces need more influence, and we're going to try to get that uh, to happen here. Yeah, wood and stone. We'll kill off a little growth for that, and then we'll build this up slowly. This will take some work, but Thebes potentially can be quite nice. Uh, we have stone and wood here. Um, I think that's all. Our armies have moved because they just fought. War makes the man. Maybe we can move out. He doesn't like to garrison, remember? Our mood is once again a thing because uh, we are not at any given mood, so. We'll get Achilles moving next turn. I think that's it. Everything looks good diplomacy wise. We can't confederate right now. He has calmed down a bit, but I don't think I want to give him any deals. Ooh. Sparta. I don't want to get a deal with Sparta though. Nestor. We are friendly, Nestor, but I want your land. We have much to discuss. We really want this. But I don't think he'll ever give it to us. Yeah. Oh well. You don't get a deal then. Oh. We don't have military access with Agamemnon? Where are they? Uh, their island faction. Well, I'm not sure about island faction, but Agamemnon and us should I have a deal. I forward to hearing what you have to say. Uh... I will take your stone, much as you are willing to give. Wow. Generous Agamemnon. And very greedy Achilles. <laughs> very greedy Achilles. Okay. There we go. Of course. And we're good to go. Let's go next turn. Alrighty, Nestor wants the military alliance pretty badly, giving us a deal. Uh, less badly than we would have gotten if we offered him it, so I'm going to just pass. We're, we're fine right now, just, just friends, we have defensive alliance. Rebellion has happened. Well, let's see how bad it is. How badly are we getting raided? That's beyond now, if this is a chariot, we're in trouble, but if it's not, we might be able to just take them. Challenge. And while we have him- ah, I keep right-clicking. Habits from Three Kingdoms. Um, we- while we have him, we do have a bunch of items, so... Give him all the good stuff. 
melee attack for all spear units, which we do have a bunch of. I believe all these are equipped, so these will pass. But potentially, bring their deaths. Yeah, we're just gonna take care of the rebels. Oh, that extra unit was just the general. Don't hold back. Uh, look like a draw. I might take replenishment. Enslave them. Because it feels like they're still on the map. And we need to get rid of them. Head out. We do have a priestess around, I believe. That's on waiting for I cooldown. We can demoralize, get some experience. By the gods. Yep. We can only retreat. Make me proud. Now the question is what to do with Automedon's army. We can definitely keep him. The supply line's not in a bad place. Let's free them. Do it right, be rewarded. Plus five campaign movement. Nice. We bought a few turns of peace. Mm. We can have the priestess sit here because she does grant happiness while idle. That would actually help us. We did level up. Defense? Offense? Hmm. I'm tempted to just build him defensively. Yeah, let's do it. He is a defender after all. Omens speak to me. I'm gonna kick these two though. They are really not serving a purpose in this army. We will go down in history. I'm gonna go fetch some unique recruits that we have uh, eventually available to us. I think this upgrade would actually open up some possibilities here. Right, once we get this upgraded, we can upgrade this. We get two access to centaur savage centaur warriors. We'll pick these up and deliver them to Achilles. We're going to have to have an army that's legit delivering units to the front line because the recruitment method is very tough. I remember the Shogun 2 days, I had like streams of units walking down, but you didn't need a general for the armies in Shogun 2. But here we must have an army, so things are more difficult. My question is, do I send Achilles by himself or do I send him with assistance? Because... I don't know if we're gonna get attacked when we land or we get attacked elsewhere because Hector is moving through our land. Like, this is Hector's army. Experience so I feel more confident if we Achilles just. The champion. All right, we'll bring a couple agents. I think that should take care of everything. We're not full healed. All right, because we're going to the unknowns here, I'm gonna just go to the port right here. I'm not gonna. Not gonna actually go into the port, but we'll go right oh, here. Are a weapon. We'll get the assassin. All right, let's get influence. Can be re Ooh, plus ninety. All of a sudden, seven point seven percent. That worked really well. Dare from a distance. We're gonna go guard the capital. Can we pray? Yes, we can. Sacrifice and Twenty-one points to Hera, which should keep us right near you know 650 and over here we can make her push into the 600s right here as well favor aphrodite's plus 170 all those temples are paying off so we're actually going to go over and that's fine we'll have Sadar available to recruit epic agents damage resistance 30 percent oh protect us from enemy agent action that is very nice definitely want to keep her right here in the third tier and now we can start considering which other god or goddess we want to do. And if we pray to her now, we get 50 growth and 5 happiness. Alright, so Envoy did his thing. This is our assassin. Why don't you scout out ahead? Gods grant us fair weather. I can we'll keep... Your enemy. He's the other assassin. We'll keep one assassin here, and then he'll go with him. Someone gotta poison the army. And then Achilles will join them next turn. Okay, we've got some growth here. I do want to upgrade to three at least. 
Anything major? I guess we should check these out first. The settlement. Oh my god. Happiness? Who do we want dedicated temple to? Because now we do have a choice. Let's go back. Who do we want? Do we want Zeus? Minotaurs? Recruitment? Cheap heroes and agents, which we already have a bunch of heroes and agents. Club units and javelin units. Happiness for military? No, not interested. We do have priority building, so if we get him to Ares to tier 3, we do have new units, new charge. All hero will cause fright. Happiness per war. Income from looting. Local recruitment capacity plus 1, that sounds strong. Sword and axe morale increase 20. Ares seems very useful. Apollo, less useful in my opinion right now for us. Seer is good, but getting him invested all the way to tier you know, 3 is pretty hard. Spear units, Gorgons, extra morale, unbreakable heroes, new recruiting rank for heroes, that seems pretty strong except we already have a bunch of heroes. More treasure, more food in coastal regions, sea movements, which we are going to have to do a lot, Cyclops, chariots, less fatigue. Alright, Poseidon wins. So we're gonna go with Poseidon here. I'm gonna pick up just wood investment buildings. Pretty cheap for us to build. Um, this last slot here, we don't have anything special. We don't necessarily need growth here. I might just pick up more wood. I think I'll do that. And we're probably also gonna boost the wood production here. I want to get rid of this. We're going to sacrifice growth here. I'll boost that. Alright, this is another one of those settlements where we don't really need to build anything. Like, everything's good at this point. Also missing a lot of buildings. Hmm. It is only producing food, so we might as well build this. Maybe we shouldn't have got rid of the, the garrison. It's looking like the only option here. Yeah, we should have kept it. We did get some resource back for it, but I don't know if that was worth it. Alright, influence will go up, so we're just going to go with the standard food, and then we don't really need growth here, so that's okay. Mm. Should we kill off growth here? We're already killing off growth in two things, so I don't think we should kill it off in the third thing. We don't have a lot of happiness, which means we should upgrade influence building, we should upgrade happiness building out of wood. Okay. Alright, so that ends pretty much all the building. All the buildings I want to build needs wood, and we're out of wood, so that ends our thing. Let's get moving next turn. Let's go. Oh, the Macedonians want to trade wood for stone. Well, they're only at war with the Caledonians down there, friends with Dorian and us. We're just not going to make any deals. Ooh, Poseidon's bounty. So we got something good from Poseidon. Maybe building an altar does help. So we get more campaign movement in the sea, plus 6 influence faction-wide, I like that. Or we get food. Oh, we're getting that. Wait, wait, wait. Did we get hit by a flood? Another rebellion. Where? Just when I said Poseidon has our grace. Wait, wait, wait. When do we get this? Okay, we got a land that I had no idea. But good thing I flooded, uh, Melos, we have Harpies. We have to be here to recruit them, but we have Harpies. So Harpies, um, if we take a look at their stat here, they mainly cause scare is what I believe. They ignore terrain, oh they don't cause scare. They're just good flanking units that throw javelins. Okay, not, not too impressed. What about the upgraded version? Harpy's Fiend. Plank, Stock, Snipe. Whoa. Okay. 
These are good. These are good. Okay, we, we want to upgrade this settlement to tier 4. Lumber storage, that's useless. Happiness. Aphrodite's, okay. Alright, we gotta switch that. And then wait for growth. Where's the other two? Aki. Oh, do we have any dealings with him? I'm wondering whether Achilles really means it. Okay, okay. So he holds food and bronze. I would like these. We can go to war with them before Odysseus steals these. Hector is just moving through. I don't have the manpower right now. The rebellion's happening again. Oh, oh, she's she can stop it. Wait, that means it's a different rebellion. Okay, we have a defensive structure, so it's really Wait, what does this mean? Oh, this means we have alliance with them. Okay. Okay. Why can't we see it? Why is it the picture? Why can't we see the buildings? Hmm, interesting. I mean, we have harpies, but I'm not building it here. See, he built one here. Oh, he built one here too. Both of these factions are building up the basic harpies. I feel like we're fine. Um, with the garrison, I, I feel like we can knock down the invading army, hopefully. I've got what it takes. We're coming here. Gonna upgrade this right away. Go for this building. And we did say Poseidon, so we're going all in with Poseidon. Happiness still needs a bit of help. Influence, not really. Oh, he dumped all the wood here. Oh, that's fine. Our agents have not moved. Well, she's here just to boost happiness, so she can stay still. Yeah, character plus four. I interpret the will of the gods. The subtle blade. Achilles, move out. Beyond compare. Does this count as landing on the island? We're not here for war. Let's get them on land first. There's not much land in Skyros, to be honest. We'll get there next turn. We'll find out. Can we boost it every turn? We can boost it every turn. Okay, so right now we're at... Plus 27, 5.1%. Boost it. And then we're at 80, 6.8%. So things are going to move pretty fast here. Yeah, this is the one where I kind of regret taking away the guardhouse. We don't have any wood. I think we're pretty much wrapped here. A little worried about that army development over there. If we are indeed going to fly into a war with them. Oh, we do have a giant recruitment here that we can upgrade. We need to prioritize this as well. Glory awaits us. Ready to march. She already prayed, so we're gonna move her around a bit. The favor of the gods is ever shifting. I think we will be fine. Yeah, these are just empty land. Alright, let's continue. Hopefully. Nothing bad happens here. Oh. Ah, oh, we got dragged into a war. Well, the good news is Hector moved first and they already moved their army out. We are going to respect this. And Skyros has ended their non-aggression pact with us, so that means we can attack them. It's not very wise. They want to deal with us. We want their land really badly. Yeah, we're going to destroy them. That's going to be the thing. He has a trade partner with Hector, so we just kill him. Poseidon level up. Nice. And he strikes the city of Troy. Good. I thought he was going to strike at us again. We are not SC. Unsurpassed. Oh, oh, oh. He got too long at sea. Only a turn. And he's seasick. Ah. Oh. You would think this trade... Puts you out at sea quite a bit. Influence. There must be an embedding bonus. 
Wait. Oh, there's this one. The upkeep. We already got that one. It doesn't have any good ones. At least we haven't had any about embedding it on army. Oh, this is very sad. Yeah, let's just slow down other agents around us. We can fight them. That's the good news. Legendary prowess. We can just wipe them out, trigger a you island battle. Too much. Heavy shock spears. Okay. Your enemies will Should we go fail. assassinate him? Oh, can we not assassinate in the river? In, in the in the ocean, I guess. Nothing is unthinkable. Okay, no action available. Duty first. Ready for anything. Let's see a naval battle. Obviously, this battle is super easy, and we get blessing, damage resistant, morale. This is all the bonuses from the respective tiers, and we get an island battle. Uh, this is how Troy deal with naval battle. You're summoned onto a magical island nearby. All right, no effect. We'll just start, and this is a uh, island, basically. Uh, we have Vanguard deployment. They have no range, so we can just abuse that. Our chariot. We'll solo them. We'll harass with range here. We're not going to actually charge these cavalry in. Achilles! So heavy shock units. I think we'll go for the swordsman first. Yeah, move into range, shooting at the general. Let's see how this goes. Ride them out. Achilles! Oh, see, didn't run them down that much. Understood. Medium units. Five. And plus frontal charge. He tried to kick us? Alright, what about a rear attack. charge? Keep kiting. Yeah, what about a rear charge? Oh, that's not, they turn around. Oh, see, much better. Don't, just don't frontal charge your enemy. Oh, they turn around for the Jawood? Destroy them! Oh, we should use our abilities too. Let's go with increased speed and increased charge. Charge the general. We can reduce their armor. Increase our speed. Terrify this unit. Cleave for more damage. Because why not? Why not use everything? That should be a re- uh, they turn around, but... There we go. Charge we'll right do. through them. That works. Not a problem. We'll do. Yes. Alright, so Heavy Spear kinda stopped us, but no big deal. You can demoralize them. Oh, they have us surrounded. Good. I shall! Yes! Not a problem! Okay, heavy troops can't counter cavalry. They get up, but like... They didn't even stop... I mean, human stopping momentum of two horses is not reasonable, but... Go some speed. That See, now we get clumped together, but Not we can pull out of this, and we're always healing as well on Achilles. He has really evolved into an unkillable beast. We still have ammo, so we're gonna still kite. We have backup, don't worry. Oh, we got taunted? We got taunted. Yep, we got taunted. We lost a few. He's still taunted. Well, Achilles, go help. Go help your poor, poor unit. Mm, might as well use it. 
Uh, keep getting pulled back by that taunt. It actually wipes him out pretty much. Ellie's your warriors are no. losing heart. No, our centaur, lightly armored centaur. It's okay. We can recruit more in our um, Automedon's army. He'll come with all the range units. Clean up. One of your units has no more ammunition. Oh, we're out of ammo? Alright, our job is done. Let's see how the heavy unit deal with it. Brace! 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 Brace. Okay, they're gone. Let's move on to a medium unit, no need to stall here. mowing through them. Look at that. I mean, that's basically how chariot warfare worked. You can have more chariots than enemy infantry. The infantry is really screwed. Yep. Alright, Killy's killing their boss. We'll kill off these. I don't think we can actually fight him effectively here. He's running away now. Okay, that's fine. We technically only use five units. That was a fair fight. I'll take 76% replenish because we only lost 29 men. So that was a nice naval battle. Minus food upkeep for all units. Wait. Mel Argos, though, way back. Gain spend time in farming settlement. Nice. Achieve multiple island battle. Rebellion happened. Getting raided. Ready for duty, one of our heroes. These are the ones we got from the Confederation. Achilles the champion. Now we land. Docking. This All of Skyros. Like. Okay. And what happens at this point? Drypost challenge. The Trojan Drypost advanced toward Achilles with long strides, unaware of the doom he faced. Dryops, knowing his armies are no match for yours, issue you a challenge. Best him in single combat, and the city of Skyro shall be yours without bloodshed. You remember with fondness your time spent here with the timid king Lycomedes and his fair haired daughter, the, uh, yeah, the one who has our son. So you agreed to the fight. You make sure work with the Trojan commander who soon lie at your feet. Execute him. Experience. Mercy of Ares. A thousand experience to all troops for one turn. And war is declared to Lycomedes. Or we spare his life and we confederate Lycomedes. Wait, oh, I want that. And the region of Skyros becomes ours and we get plus four happiness. The daughter. We get the daughter as a unique auxiliary item. Guys, this is... Pretty straightforward here. Troy Umbode. Use Achilles' army, win three battles against. Oh, we just fought one. That didn't count. We get a Minotaur. We picked up some army again, or some uh, elite unit recruitment. Harpies, I believe. Oh, Sirens. Never mind. Something new. Sirens. Confederation. Happiness. So, do we equip our wife on ourselves? We get two provinces. Master I mean, we're not going to give our wife to someone else, surely. Local growth. I think we can give this to someone else. Like, Automedon can take this one. Let's just first make him take it. Uh, keep right clicking. I love a challenge. Plus. One motivation plus 50 growth. This is it. 
He likes Hera too, right? I think that's his motivation. Yeah. Oh uh, no. It's not him. It's uh Mel Argos. Achilles is angry. Son of a goddess and a Let's calm you with uh your wife. Unique. You better be. Okay, we only thing we have that's not unique is our Swift-footed horse. And that's fine. We do need the speed for the chariot. We also got a level up. Maybe it's time to boost this chariot. I already did. Is that why it was slow? I don't know. We can get some stamina back, which will make this a lot better. Let's see. How do they build this? Redundantly. That's how they build it. Um, high influence for stone. They maxed it out, so I'm keeping that. Uh, we're going to probably kill growth because growth is max. So we're going to go with the minus growth version. Depending on whether... Oh, level 3. That's the max. Siren Cove. How are, how are sirens? Oh, they cause scare, right? Sirens lore. No, they cut taunt. Okay. But they're ranged. So why would we taunt... So we taunt and run? I mean, it doesn't look like we want people to be running after us, but... Sure. We can recruit how many? Three. Okay. Influence increase. Uh, chariot workshop. Level four? So we can get reinforced chariots. Maybe we want these instead of these. We can upgrade. Achilles. We do have resources. Beyond compare. We can, uh, we have too many things we want and not enough slots. Be in spears. The in spears are not unique. Plus. So let's get rid of our very experienced Theon Spears. And then we'll get rid of two chariots as well. We'll keep this guy. Actually, let's just get rid of all of them. We can only recruit four at a time. Alright. Achilles the champion. Oh, we also got this from our quest, but I don't want him right now. I want these. Go for right away. I want eventually two of them. We'll grab one siren. We why can't we recruit more? Only one? I thought it says three. Unit ah oh, ah oh, they have them in his army. So who did we when we confederated? We took some army. That's why our food is struggling. War makes the man. Right, he has some sirens. This is who? Ah, oh, Lokomedi himself. Do we say father-in-law? Heavy javelin thrower sounds very good. We are going to be in some fights with Hector's armies where they ran here. We got agents on that side too. Keep marching. We might lose some land, but... No, no, no. Oh, uh, we could do that, but... Yeah, actually, why don't we do that? Experience is experience. Not always a liability. Can't pray, just follow. The road stretches ahead. Twenty-six percent. Is the weapon I a consensus follows blindly. Right, I kind of want to keep some of these, but others, like like these and that, can be kicked. We probably got more than him. Let's see. We can find all our army groups quickly. Yep, we got more than him. We can take them. The garrison here, so we can actually just move him over. Head out. Take this. We're on the move. I think two I is enough legend. here.
Battle calls. I kind of want to save heavy javelin throwers. You can rely on me. They're not that good. 15 ammo. Low speed. Alright, I'll just get rid of it. The food Fit kill on the fight. supply line is way too much. In Ares name. I'm gonna pass this group onto him. Expert Archer. We'll get rid of these five. Old man's gotta move. I think we picked up one of their envoys as well. Do we want him? He's very low. Oh my god. Can we kick him? We can't kick him. No. Why do we want him? Why do we want him? I'm gonna send him to his death. That's the only solution, I think. Oh no, he took up our last slot. And not leading armies, can I make them happy? Like he's unhappy, but I can't alter his build to make him happier. All right, we got other things to worry about. Rebellions, rebellions, rebellions. Is prayer available? Okay, prayer is available, which means we should go pray at an actual yeah, she needs to come back over here. Petition the gods for victory. Can we recruit yet? Two turns. Let's make war. Hmm. We wait. It's worth the wait. We finally picked up this bronze building. They're killing growth, which I'm okay with. We kill that. That's very expensive. All right. Organized game is definitely the way to go. Same thing here. That's why we have um, Aphrodite's. Hmm. I don't feel rushed here. Thieves. That's a different story. Happiness. And let's see. I don't want to kill any more growth as is. We could go for this. Pricey, but we can afford it with our current stone. Our wood is our current issue. There might be some mellows. Where's mellows? Uh, I don't know what the province is called. I know the the actual settlement's called. Let's just go over there. Province is called. Let's see Rameta. Okay, I want this to be upgraded quickly. But first, I want influence to be maintained here. Don't care that much about the gold situation. We'll like one of these. And we'll like... Hmm. We could build a recruitment hub here as well. It would be expensive, but... In case we ever need to fight Greek factions. Maybe I'm planning way too much. Maybe we just take some wood and be happy about it. Yeah, let's just do that. Right now we do need wood. Ooh, our final slot. Saved for this. Needs a lot of wood. Now we're good here. Also good here. I think we can kill off some of the growth here. 
now we're really short on food uh, wood uh, so it's that's pretty much over all the heroes have moved except for him he can stay in a settlement I think he likes that all right doesn't look that strong I think we'll be fine let's continue all right, we're getting attacked by Hector's forces, except for his forces is not exactly stronger than our force, so we're just going to take this auto-resolve win. I don't know why they did that, because, uh, yeah, stab, stab, stab. We'll take replenishment, though. Alright, we've got a trade offer from a friendly faction. They want some of our bronze. We're not actually producing a lot of bronze, so... As much as we need wood, no deal. Another offer? Uh, no. Decree issued. Temple is built a little faster. We gain another Onyx title. Control another realm. Their agent failed. We won a delegate battle, killed off their general, killed off their agent. Things are going well, just and true, Automedon, for being in a settlement with low happiness. And this is our bonus for Bionix. Minus 5 construction costs for all buildings. Wonderful. Another rebellion. Well, this one, our army just will fly back from over here once they recruit. That's still one more turn. This is going to rebel win. Very next turn. Great. Well, she's here to pray. She can't go back to maintain happiness. Uh, we're gonna have to come back. Because we can technically recruit here and here as well. So maybe Achilles can just head back himself. We'll, we'll figure things out. Uh, but over here, we're gonna need some men. Delegate away. We get an extra slot now. Thanks to Ares. Or Poseidon. Wait. Why do we have extra slot? Did Poseidon's come online? Alright, we're getting this. A thousand stone well spent. Gotta check. What happened to Divine Favor? Oh, Poseidon went up. Athena went up. Apollo is still up. Why do we have extra slot? I thought we get extra slot for Ares, but we don't have a... Maybe a building? Not sure. Alright, so we did clean out that army. Which means we just need to catch up with them. They just need to meet. The agents can go clean up. He's the assassin. We can't get there. We'll just get close. I want him to suicide. Come die. He moves super slow because of his traits. Continue to push influence. That's just a slow process. Alright, our wood is pretty precious. Turn them around. We'll meet up. I'm going to pass the range units over. And they're going to pass some of the melee units back. Stay sharp. Alright, and then I'm going to keep this army on the field, uh, Locomedes. And I'm going to have him go defend one of our island holdings. And maybe they can together take some of these island holdings as well. Achilles. I feel like we My have one slot yours. open. We might as well just take another chariot. We can kind of scout out ahead. I don't know if we need to come here. Like, would Hector threaten us here? We're not at war. Ooh. Menelaus. This used to be Paris. And Arneas took one. Menelaus took one. That's very interesting. But we're safe. Menelaus is on the front line for us. We should just focus down here then. Achilles we're not friendly with them. Have something to say. All right. I guess our next goal is go island hopping. But apparently spending too much time at sea makes you seasick. Head over here, two turns. 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to finish up recruiting that medium ca um, chariot because that's when we have the actual chariot building still. Oh, we can actually build one of these here, but I don't want to because we're not recruiting those units here. Growth is absolutely no longer needed here, so we're just gonna build that up for some cheap resources. And no idea what to build. Upgrade this. I'm going to build the good stuff, but influence is not high. All right, just take that hit. All right, everything for more wood. I'm going to try to get Poseidon to go higher tier. I want stone and wood. We need more influence. Alright, there goes our build options. Army's moving back. We're also recruiting. Should be fine. Trekka, can't do anything about that. <laughs> we have one piece. Uh, what's the item? Poseidon Scepter. Morale with fighting at sea. 15% food. Extra attack. Alright, I think we're good. Let's just continue here. Alright, more deals. They want our gold. No way. <laughs> we're coming for their head. They don't know it. And we are obviously not giving away gold. So they are attacking us. We will not win an auto resolve, so we have to fight this one. This is our garrison settlement. So hopefully we can pull this out. Um, he is an archer champion, which makes me feel like he's going to be easier to kill. Or, I hope so. Let's go. Alrighty, so... We have a settlement. They are attacking from one spot. Archer, hero, slinger, slinger, club, club, spear, spear, all light units. Um, Terrain-wise, this is the gap. That's a very long flank. We might just use this as the flank. Let's, let's pull everyone together. These are our flanking units. These are our front line. These guys have a little bit of range and they're fast, so we're gonna make them go like this. And these are fast as well. I'm gonna go right behind with the range units. Clingers tend to have more range, so we're gonna put them farther back. Two more. We're just gonna stack them. And we are not looking to get sniped, so I don't know if that helps. Let's go. Move them out. I doubt the enemy will come respond to it. They will still probably stack over here. Uh, pull into that choke. I try to stall here as much as possible. Wait for our flanking units to get here. Yeah, it's okay. We got shields. They're just rocks. I don't know if he has skirmish mode on or off, but we could potentially have him just chase the general, go flank them. Why is our range units not firing into these guys? Can I ask that? Oh well. Probably should have flanked them out then. One each. Oh, he is not running away. We'll go flank them. Yeah, they're not firing, right? Hmm. That's fine. We'll spread them out then. 
be prepared for when they do come in. We can have a crossfire set up. Go fight. Throw out all your javelin. Chase, chase, chase him. Throw those javelins. Yeah, we have them clogged up right here. Perfect. Alright, now we're firing. Maybe we just some elevation. Poor guys. Your commander didn't think this through. Why is one of our... Oh, he got taunted Your into them. Is under no, no way. He has no taunt. They're just getting dragged into the fight. Actually, he needs to follow him. So he doesn't bounce back. Hungry for glory. Yeah, I would not want to be them. Shield up, up. Rocks are coming down. Ah, some people are trying to get out. Some had enough. Now the shield's up. Victory. Rebels. The route is on. There we go. That's the win. Alright, that garrison building definitely helped. And we'll just take... We'll take resources, actually. Oh, the other rebel is actually attacking our army that's trying to recruit to stop our recruitment. That's very smart. So we're just going to retreat. Uh, obviously, we can't. Oh, I lied. Post victory. Our elite spear units are better than what they have. One of them got wiped out, though. That just means they're not elite enough. Let's, um... I don't know, we don't need replenishment. We'll take more resources. Motivation critical. We got the decree. Wait, is the motivation on uh, rebellions? Yes, we know, we know. Is it on Automaton? What's his actual motivation? We didn't check it out. We could just give him items if he's unhappy about stuff. No, it's not him, he's fine. Yeah, he's totally fine. It's one of our other generals that we got from the Confederation. It's, I mean, if they're not on the field, their negative effect is not going to affect us, so it's not really a big deal. And this is pretty much a good place for us to end the episode. We confederated Skyros. Good thing we didn't go to war with them. Confederation was pretty smooth. And now we are trying to get some of our agents killed while hunting down other agents. This one needs to die, and we'll go kill off some of their other agents. And our next step is actually turning south. We're going to capture this island chain over here, as well as this leading down to Melos. Try to compete a couple of uh, provinces. Maybe at least two. This one and this one. And we'll see if we can keep island hopping. It seems like we don't need to land just yet. Our allies are serving as the vanguard, and we can just hold this for a little bit. And we'll have our armies, which are four armies right now. We can afford four, which is nice. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to get closer to Troy as we move on, uh, perhaps through the south a little bit first. Just gotta, you know, secure our, our land. If we have a holding, we might as well get the whole province. It's a big difference, uh, which also makes me very tempted to kill capture that, but it's, it'll be a war with Nestor, and I don't want that. So, until next time, bye!